Because if she did, you'd go down the drain. Where's your license? Look, Joe. I'm not threatening you. I just want to remind you, it's the piece of paper. You can tear up a piece of paper. That's not my life, Dave. Just 12 years of it. Well, it's a lot. Here. Yeah. Keep it warm, next to your heart. I oh, don't get cute. Give it to me straight. One more complaint and you can lose your license. Straight enough? Just straight enough. Thanks. <laughs> Maybe it's probably going to be bad, isn't it? Mm -hmm. He wasn't even listening. If he saw a turn... Damn!
making people smile. Enjoy that feeling of certainty with promotional products at 4 a.m. Zantac. The FDA recently called for all Zantac ranitidine products to be pulled from the market immediately. Warning that Zantac may be contaminated with a cancer-causing agent, NDMA. NDMA has been linked to cancers of the kidney, bladder, colon, liver, stomach, and more. If you or a loved one used Zantac regularly to treat heartburn and were then diagnosed with any of the cancers listed on your screen, such as liver, bladder, kidney, or colon cancer, don't wait. Call the Zantac helpline right now. You may be entitled to compensation. You need an attorney on your side, fighting for your rights. If you or a loved one regularly took the heartburn medication Zantac and have been diagnosed with liver, bladder, kidney, colon, or any of the other cancers listed on your screen, don't wait. Call the Zantac helpline right now to see if you qualify. If you or a loved one took Zantac and were diagnosed with cancer, time is limited. Call the Zantac helpline right now. Do you struggle to fall asleep and stay asleep? Keto formula combines five nutrients that can help you fall asleep faster, stay asleep longer, and wake up for a The one I trust is Keto. Yes, they are good. Well, a dog, man, or what have you. The portrait of Philip Lutzer. Oh, that's what it really is. Honest, respectable, and rich. But you were behind them, so I... I flew here at once. Impulsive? Perhaps. Mr. Maddox, what do you know about Philip Montford? Not much. What do you know? I know the man's a fraud and a swindler. Oh, he has a marvelous reputation, sincerely an absolute shark. Miss Salt, uh, have a seat. Now, oh, tell me more. Well, it all begins with my great-aunt Athelia. She was nearly 90 when she died. For approximately 80 of those 90 years, she'd been middling poor. A rather fabulous land boom suddenly hit the islands, and great-aunt Athelia's land turned out somewhat more valuable than gold. As I said, for nearly 80 years, she'd been poor. When she died, she was worth nearly 12 million with a most trustworthy solicitor in charge of the estate. Philip Monford. Philip Monford. 
Of course, my uncle, Sir Arnold Salt, he was the major heir, and I was to receive a, well, a fairish son myself. Well, imagine our surprise when the estate turned out to be heavily encumbered, generally confused, and, well, worth practically nothing. Who oh, got it? My uncle had exactly the same question. He went to Montford and they had a terrible quarrel. Montford made some threats and then suddenly he and his lovely Barbara departed. Well, uh, what did your uncle do? Followed them. And I haven't heard from him or about him since, until your inquiry. Miss Salt, uh, what do you want? Well, I don't really want to live as my great aunt Ophelia did in genteel poverty. I would like my share of the estate. You mean you uh, want Monford nailed? To the wall. Peggy? Uh, Peggy, brief, Miss Salt. Well, where are you going? To church. idea of a rock master, are you? No. But it doesn't send me either. I have a weakness for Bach. Yeah, me too. But I'm musically ecumenical. If I'm going to bring kids into the church, it'll be to their own sounds. What brings you here? Well, um, last Wednesday, uh, there was a station where I got parked in your parking lot. Wednesday? Well, I can't help you. Wednesday's my synonym gig. Mrs. Timmons, the housekeeper. Now, she might have noticed. Wait a minute. I'll go fetch her. Thanks. Investigator, huh? What's that socialist preacher been up to? Oh, I knew they'd get him and his hippie notions soon enough. I knew it. Mrs. Timmons, uh, do you remember a station wagon in your parking lot uh, three days ago? They were loading a large hi-fi uh, phonograph console into it. Oh, Wednesday? About three in the afternoon? Yes. Did you see the license plate? Damn it. Damn it. I'm never get that. I ate it all. 